boom. Hey, Internet. Had a good question from Zingzing841. And um, the question is, when you first started a brand, how did you get people to help you? It seems like no one really cares about what I'm doing or want to help. Uh, okay. Interesting question, I thought, and I, I have value for the community, of course, um, in the answering of it. First of all, I think it's in the pitch. Um, you know, there's a million clothing lines that are out right now, and there's going to be a million more in like another week or so. Like the barrier to entry is lower to starting a brand, right? Like I go uh, create a logo, uh, put it on Illustrator, send it to my screen printer, boom, I have a brand, so to speak. Um, yes or no? I'm kind of being I'm oversimplifying, obviously, for example's sake. Uh, I think getting quality people on board requires you having a level of savvy that really goes way past the very obvious steps. Um, you know, when you're doing business in general, a lot of, you know, all the, the normal probing business questions like what is your unfair advantage, um, you know, how, how are you smarter, quicker, faster um, than your competition? You know, uh, all those sorts of things that just a normal business in a very volatile and impacted industry would get. So if you don't have an answer to that, I would keep digging until you present something past just a really cool logo and even the backstory. I mean, that's going to involve your backstory, but if, maybe you just have a backstory, but there's something else that you have involved. Um, you know, maybe your cousin owns a screen printing shop or, you know, you happen to be best friends with a professional athlete or actor or something like that. Like, there should be multiple things set in place so that you can win. So you can say, I have all these things going for uh, uh, the, the company succeeding, um, you know, to, to a point where, you know, everyone's getting a salary and it's, it's on its way to becoming a, a multi-million dollar company. Um, so that's one thing. Um, another thing too is um, make sure you're you're networking with the right people. Um, that's why I also say go to trade shows, go to events, fashion shows, even art shows, anything that's kind of that involves people that would be in the culture of what you want to do. There's a lot of smart, hardworking individuals. There's a lot of graduates, college graduates, um, students. I mean, if even if they're still in school. Um, if you go into a fashion school, there's a ton of people there that want to be a part of or work for a clothing line. So be in the places where um, the people are that have the similar mindset as you, I would say that. Like, don't just go get your cousin and your, you know, and your nephew to go, hey, help me with this clothing line. I think if you find the right people, they'll gravitate it. Uh, they'll gravitate to you. And if you, if you have the first part set where you have an excellent, an outstanding plan, the best thing you can think of, um, in terms of planning and how to execute and and really launch the brand, um, I think uh, you can it will it will do even more to attract the right person uh, towards the project or the or the line. So there's two things. Hope that helps. Any other questions? Any other things to add to it? Please all drop it up. <laughs> please drop it all down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.